We begin tonight with the arrest of singer and songwriter Paul Simon and Edie Burkell. Police went to the couple's Connecticut home after a hang-up 911 call from the house during an argument between the two. Despite the dispute, the two appeared in a Norwalk courtroom earlier today, and they were holding hands. Sandy Kenyon was there, and he joins us live now with our top story. Sandy? <clears throat> Diana, their lawyer, insists that Paul Simon and Edie Burkell are happily married. And outside this courthouse, the superstar told reporters, we had an argument. And now it's over. We're fine, but we love each other. Paul Simon and his wife, singer Edie Brickell, left by separate entrances from the Norwalk courthouse after they were each arraigned today on a misdemeanor disorderly conduct charge. A court-appointed mediator suggested the judge issue an order of protection in this case, but the judge did not do so at the request of the couple. We're going to go back home today. We're going to go watch our son play baseball. New Canaan police say a 911 call was received from the couple's home Saturday night. The officers investigated and uh, determined that there was an altercation and that there was probable cause for an arrest. And under Connecticut law, we were obligated to make an arrest um, because it was considered domestic violence. Their lawyer said this was an ordinary dispute between husband and wife that got physical. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 1. Alan Kramer said Paul Simon tried to leave. And she kind of blocked the door. Simon is a music industry legend with a dozen Grammy Awards to his credit. His marriage to Brickell among the most enduring in rock, when you consider they tied the knot more than two decades ago. Their lawyer said it was a case of differing styles. Edie Brickell is from Texas, and he is from Queens, and you know what? Uh, in certain ways, there's ways of settling things down in Texas, and there's ways of settling things in Queens. This Connecticut lawyer says in Texas they like to settle things right then and there. Now he also says the couple is back in their new Canaan home with their three children. And they have already met with a family mediator appointed by the court. They are due back in this courtroom May 16th. And then any charges might be dismissed if they successfully complete the mediation program. Reporting from Norwalk, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Diana Shade, 